you guys! Today I'm going to show you what to do if your iPhone camera is not working. So have your phone on hand so you can follow along as we go through. Let's jump right in. So to start off, you're going to want to launch your camera app. And the first thing I'm going to show you is to switch back and forth from your front and backwards camera. Sometimes the camera app hasn't loaded properly and a good way to sort of refresh your camera or reload it would be to flip back and forth. And so to do that, you're going to hit the icon in the bottom right corner. This is the one with the two arrows creating a circle. It's going to flip back and forth a few times and that should get your camera working. And if not, I'll show you the next step. So if that first option doesn't work, the next thing you're going to want to do is to restart your camera app. This is super simple. All you have to do is close out of that app and to do that, you're going to slide upwards and X out of your camera app. This will restart it and force it to reload everything. So once you've X'd out of it, you'll reopen it and hopefully by then it's working. If it isn't, Hey you guys, if you're finding this video helpful, click that like button and subscribe to our channel. This helps the channel to grow and reach a larger audience. Thank you so much and let's get back to the video. The next thing you're going to want to try is turning off the voiceover feature in your settings. The voiceover feature can sometimes affect your camera and whether or not it's working. And to turn this feature off, you're going to open up your settings. You're going to scroll down to accessibility. And at the top, you'll find the voiceover option. So if that were on, you would just simply click that off toggle button at the top right and that'll turn it off for you. And hopefully that'll get your camera up and running again. If that still doesn't work for you, the next thing you're going to want to do is restart your iPhone. So depending on the model, this may be different, but for the newest models, you're going to want to hold the power button here and the volume button at the same time. So click and hold both of those. And then the slide to power off is going to come up and all you're going to do is slide over to the right and that's going to restart your entire iPhone. If that still doesn't work, the next thing you're going to want to look for is any iOS updates in your phone. To do this, you're going to go into your settings and then scroll down to general, software update. And any new updates that you haven't downloaded or installed yet are going to be here. And once you have your phone updated, that should also update your camera and any features that have been added there. Hopefully that will get your camera back up and working. If none of the previous options are working for you, you may have to try something a little bit more drastic and that would be to reset your iPhone settings. And to do this, you're going to open up your settings app once again. You'll go back into general. And at the very bottom, you will find the transfer or reset iPhone. When you click on that, you're not going to click reset. You're going to erase all content and settings. This isn't going to erase your photos and music. It's just going to reset your location settings and network settings, privacy, etc. And when you click that, it's going to, it's going to bring you to this page, letting you know what it's going to erase and then you'll click continue and follow the prompts on your iPhones. However, before you do this, make sure you have done a backup recently. This is going to back up all of the settings that you currently have and it's going to make the process of getting all of these back a lot easier because once you reset it, you can simply just do a backup and it's going to put all of your previous settings back onto your phone. However, we all know that doing a reset is a bit of a pain and it can be a process to get everything back. So none of us really want to do that. I would recommend calling Apple support before you go as far as doing a factory reset on your phone. An Apple employee should be able to walk you through some easier steps to get your camera working. And you should also try all of the previous steps before doing a factory reset. Alrighty, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found the information in this video helpful and maybe you can use it or pass it on to somebody else who needs it. Once again, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.